This is old mate's backyard tech. All right. Well, I think a few people are starting to accept this fact, and I've made no secret about it. I make no bones about it. In my opinion, MX Linux is the best Debian-based distro out there in the marketplace today. And if it's not the best, it's very high up as one of the best. My personal opinion, though, as always, is it is the best. It just works. Now, some people have had a go at it being Debian and they can't get certain things working on it. I'm yet to have a problem with Debian working as an operating system. It offers you the stability of Debian. It gives you everything you need as a simple daily driver, or you can customize it up to something more advanced. But there's one niggling issue I've had with my beloved MX Linux, particularly MX Linux 21, Wildflower. On the whole, the system is phenomenal. And many people have often said that every single release of MX Linux is an improvement on the previous one. And that's true, generally speaking. But there's one problem I've had with MX Linux 21, and I thought I was the only one having it. However, a viewer is in the same boat as Old Mate. As you can see in the background, it's Old Mate's Q&A and advice time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. And for this one, have I got Samba working on MX Linux 21? Well, I thought I was the only person that didn't have it working. Seems like someone else is in the same boat as well. You got questions about some IT stuff? You got questions about AV stuff? You got questions about the 80 series Land Cruiser? You're at the right spot. From Old Mate's Backyard Tech, this is Old Mate's Q&A and Advice. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Old Mates Q&A and Advice Time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech to kick off Thursday's content. And I thought I was the only one having Samba issues with MX21. But it appears as though one of my viewers has had a similar issue. I got this comment six hours ago. This is from Rod Sands. I've had an issue with getting Samba working in using MX to serve media to my Android box. It worked fine using Mint 19.3. Any suggestions? Now, I have had real trouble. I, MX 19.4, Patio Fio, Samba was included. You actually had a Samba configuration GUI within MX 19.4, and that made Samba sharing across your MX box beautiful. It's not there now in MX 21. And even though when you install, you get, you know, enable Samba sharing and you you enable the, um, you know, the, the file sharing permissions from MX Linux, it won't share. It won't share NFS, it won't share SMB, it won't share a thing. I can't even go from the bedroom PC to the media PC. I can't go from the media PC to the main rig, the main rig to the media, but nothing. It won't share. Now, I don't know why they took out the Samba uh, app out of MX21. I have no idea. Um, by the looks of it, you've now got to manually configure Samba. So you've got to go into slash ETC slash SMB. Um, I thought I was the only one in the world having that issue, which is why the um, Plex server is not being updated now. Because when you used to go into, I think it was either system or settings in, in MX Linux, you pull up the little Samba app and it made Samba config a dream. Gadman Samba is not even available out of the repo now. Um, so the only way to do Samba share in SM in MX21 is you've got to do the old school way, slash ETC slash SMB and, and manually configure Samba, um, which annoys the hell out of me. Because in 19.4, 19.3, 19.4, or actually most of MX19, you go into, I think it was system or settings, you type in Samba, you come up with a little dialog box, there's your Samba server settings. There's your Samba share settings and, and Samba um, permission settings. Now you don't get it. So when you go to install MX Linux and you enable Samba for work groups or what have you, you punch all that in. Then 
you right click on the folder you want to share you go to sharing you allow guest access it doesn't share so i don't know what's going on i have not got samba let alone nfs to work in mx21 i thought i was the only one doing it now i've got someone else in the same boat um so no i have not got samba running on mx21 I don't know what the issue is. I still haven't figured out why they removed the Samba app, the Samba config dialog box. It made life like, all right, I know Linux users say the only way to do anything in Linux is to do it through text files. You know, everything should be done in a text file. I call BS on that. One of the issues Linux has always had with getting off the ground is People don't want to have to sit in a text file and write out lines of code or lines of text to make modifications. You want to be able to get into Linux. If you've got to do file sharing, SMB or NFS, you want to get in, you want to pull up a dialog box, go bang, 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 job done, see you later, go and do your file sharing. Why they took that Samba system out of MX, I do not know. But I have not got Samba or NFS working. Um... I don't know if they've cut it down or what, but the permissions issue is set for guest. So I should be able to guest with no password. Just a straight up simple file share like you would with Windows. Nutter. Not working. So I don't know. I'm sorry I can't help you. I have not got Samba working in MX21. Um, MX, as I said, in MX19.4, uh, well, MX19, MX18 and everything, you go to your menu, you type in SMA, SM, SAMBA, you come up with a nice little GUI dialog box, there's all your configuration. Now the only way to do it by the looks of it is you've got to install Samba off um, Synaptic or the MX installer, bring up a terminal and then go, you know, SU, login, CD slash uh, ETC slash SMB, and then nano smb.conf. I, I don't understand it. I, um, so I don't, I'm sorry, Rod, I have not got it working either, which is why my Plex server is not being upgraded. Because Samba, the Samba GUI configuration system that's in 19.4 is perfect. You know, I don't want to have to sit there and manually type in a SAM. If it was a server, that's a different story. If it was running, you know, my network, now that's a that's a entire but I don't I don't see the point is if you're sitting in front of a PC, you want to sit there and have to write out, you know, permission lines and, and permission codes inside a SMB.CONF and then hope it works. So unfortunately, Rod, no, I have not got Samba working in MX21. There's no Samba. The only way to do it is old school. You know, it was so easy when they had Samba server settings inside MX Linux in itself, but now they don't. So, no, I haven't got it working, which is actually a real pain, or a big pain, but it's not like the developers of MX Linux are going to listen to this little Aussie, you know. What's the point? <laughs> you know, only 5,100-odd subs. It's not like I'm a major player on linux or youtube or anything like that i'm a small little aussie small time aussie youtuber so but you know i think it was my personal opinion it was a great mistake to take that out but yeah the only way to do it now is you've got to download samba and you've got to do it the old school way you've got to sit there in nano or vi or vim or what have you and or or, or featherpad or kate or what have you and manually type out your samba config for a desktop OS, I think that's insane. For a server, I fully admit it's fine. No problem. If you're doing it on a server, yes, you, you should be writing out a manual config line of script. But in a desktop, no, 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 no. You shouldn't have to. You should just be able to pull the dialog box up, job done. But it doesn't work. I've got... Samba's enabled on the on the. I've changed nothing on the main rig, 
So the Samba settings on the main rig are exactly the same. I can get to the other halves, uh, 19.4, no problem. I can get to Peppermint. I can get to any other VM I run, but getting to a VM or a physical of MX Linux 21, system says no. Bum, bum. So, no, I'm sorry, Rod, I haven't got it working. And I haven't found out a way to get it working. So, unfortunately, I can't help you. It's disappointing because I like helping people, but I can't. Anyway, there we go. Old mate's Q&A and advice. Stick around. We've got a system set up and product review video coming up for you soon. Have a good one.